Hello students, now we will discuss about omatidium structure in cockroach. So, but suppose this is the head of cockroach. Cockroach will be having compound eyes on either side. Means on the lateral side of the head there will be compound eyes. This each compound eye is made of nearly 2000 number of functional units called as omatidium. We will see the detailed structure of omatidium now. Each omatidium has an hexagonal structure that we call as hexagonal facet. Each omatidium has hexagonal facet. This one we call as cornea or hexagonal facet. This hexagonal facet or cornea is secreted by cornea agent cells. Cornea agent cells are surrounded by special structures here called as cone cells. So, these are cone cells. These cone cells secrete a crystalline structure called as crystalline cone. So this is longer than the cone cells. This is called crystalline cone. These cone cells are surrounded by special structures called as iris pigment sheath. After the cone cells, there will be some extension. These cells are called as retinular cells. So, Retinular cells. These retinular cells will be having the middle microvilli like structures that are forming into central rhabdo. We can see some villi like structures. This one mostly in books it is given as a shady part, but actually this is uh, formed of some fibrous or microvilli like structures. This is called as rhabdo. These retinular cells, they lie on special, this basement membrane. So, after this, the retinular cells will be extended as optic fibers or optic nerves. nerve fibers. So these are just the labelings of omatidium structure. Now we will see what are other names, what are names for specific areas. Cornea is outermost transparent
transparent structure also called as hexagonal facet. Cornea is secreted by cornea agent cells. Uh, this cornea also called as lens also. We use a term called as lens. Now, cornea agent cells are also called as lenticular cells. Corny agent cells also called as lenticular cells. Cone cells also called as vitrillae or also called as semper cells. Cone cells are four in number. Cone cells secrete this crystalline cone, this middle one, they secrete the crystalline cone and surround the crystalline cone. Next. Vitrillae or semper cells are surrounded by Dark primary pigment cells Dark primary pigment sheath we can say or cells This is called as iris pigment sheet. Now, this crystalline cone and also the cone cells together form a dioptrical region. Means from here to here. Cone cells and crystalline cone, both of them are involved in focusing of light and also absorbing of light. Refracting of light also. What is meant by refraction? Refraction means when the light comes from here, it supports in bending of the light. Cone cells and crystalline cone together functions in dioptic or dioptric function. Means, here we are using the term as di, means two functions. What are those? Means, refracting of light and focusing of light. Refracting means bending of light. elongated structures are these retinular cells. Seven number of retinular cells. These are surrounded by Secondary pigment sheets. Retinular cells have microvilli like structures. that fuse to form 
central rhabdom. Central rhabdom like this structure, this middle red color shaded one. This retinular cells and the rhabdom together function as receptor in function. Because here around the retinular cells, there are some special photoreceptor containing cells. This one. These are called as secondary uh, pigment cells or also called as retinal pigment cells. Retinal pigment cells also called as secondary pigment cells. These secondary pigments help in preventing of focusing of light from one material to the other. We will see how. See, cockroach belongs to insects. In case of insects, in the uh, type which can see during the daytime are called diurnal insects. In insects that see in daytime are called as diurnal insects and in the diurnal vision will be there. For suppose in such type of insects if this is the cornea we are telling the upper part of cornea it is supporting in dioptric type of vision. We have written here dioptric. Means they do two types of functions. When the light is being focused, sunlight is being focused these cornea agent cells, they bend the light and support in focusing of the light onto rhabdom, the central rhabdom. So, in case of diurnal insects, the light is directly falling onto the rhabdom in each omaterium. So, here if it is the central rhabdom, here is the rhabdom, here is the rhabdom of this omaterium, of this omaterium. So, light will be focused separately on the rhabdom and we will see separate image by each and every omaterium. Such type of vision is called as apposition image. There will be no overlapping of light of one omaterium on the other omaterium because around the rhabdom and retinular cells, there are secondary pigment sheets. So, these secondary pigment sheets will not allow the focused light on the rhabdom onto other omaterium. So, such type of vision we are telling that is apposition image or mosaic vision or mosaic vision. Then what about cockroach? Think here are three number of omaterium, one, two and three omaterium. Let us talk about cockroach. The light that is focused on the cornea, here on the cornea, here on the cornea. Now, in case of cockroaches, the light that is refracted or bent, it is falling not only on the rhabdom of that same omaterium, but also on the uh, subsequent, on the subsequent omaterium. Because in case of cockroach, especially, the secondary pigment sheets are absent. Because of the absent of absence of this secondary pigment sheet or retinal pigment sheet, which is absent, especially in case of cockroach, the light is falling on the rhabdom, is being means bent onto the second. So here the light is focused, here it is refracted. It has to fall directly on that omaterium only. So it will be dispersed into one 
two, three. Again, we will change the colors. One, two, and three. So one, two, and three. And here also one, two, and three. When light is being means ref getting refracted or bent towards the next subsequent material. Here, image will be overlap on one another. Simply we can uh, say, so think that this is cornea, light is being focused here. This is one material, second material, third material. Light is being focused like this. So here we get confused or overlapped image. Image is overlapped. And that overlapped image is being passed by the photoreceptors that are present in the retinal cells. Because of the presence of photoreceptors here, this area after uh, means the crystalline cone, the rhabdom, the retinal cells together constitute receptor in function. So here we have given seven number of retinal cells. In case of cone cells also, we have given four number of cone cells. Here, the image is overlapped. Such a type of image is called superposition of image. Superposition image. It is also said as blurred image. 